Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Molnar. I specialize in physical medicine and rehabilitation and have been with the Southern California Orthopedic Institute for over 20 years. Uh, epidural steroid injections are injection of a cortisone into either the neck, mid, or low back that we typically do with people having either severe neck or back pain as well as referred nerve pain in the neck either down the arm or in the low back down the buttock, thigh, or leg, what most people would think of sciatica, but there are many different distributions of different nerves that go from the back down the leg. We typically use epidural steroid injections to help treat the overall condition. Some patients are in so much pain, for example, in their back and down their sciatic nerve that they can't even tolerate standing and walking or going to physical therapy. So we will typically use these injections to help quell the reaction, that is calm down the big swollen nerve root and inflamed disc to make their symptoms much lower so that they can then tolerate the appropriate rehabilitation. Patients should uh, consider epidural steroid injections if they've already tried and failed some of the less invasive methods such as taking an oral anti-inflammatory medicine, they've tried narcotic analgesic medications, and they may have even have tried and failed their physical therapy. Other reasons would be that the patient is too inflamed or too symptomatic to even tolerate attempts at therapy, and so we will use a medication to get them more comfortable to then move forward with their rest of their treatment. Uh, the important thing about epidurals is a lot of patients have fears about, will this hurt? Uh, how dangerous is it? And typically, we do this in the operating room under very safe conditions. Typically the patient is sedated. Uh, we call it conscious sedation or twilight so that the patient's very comfortable. You don't have to worry that you might jump off the table or move. And then we numb the area with local anesthetic. The shot only takes a few minutes. We watch the patient in recovery for about 30 minutes and then they're sent home. In addition to the injection, what we typically do is let the patient go home and relatively take it easy for one week. So most people will curtail their usual activities or even hold off on their formal physical therapy until one week after the injection. At that time, we'll see the patient back in the office, we'll assess how well the epidural did, and if they're doing well, we then will institute their therapy. If the injection was either partially effective or didn't last, then we may repeat it and we will do up to a series of three epidural injections.